quads, my glutes, my groin, my back, everything was screaming. I saw some park rangers over there, just putting another fire out, so my goodness me, I hope it's not arson. And there we have it, bye brigade. Oh, sorry for the rain on the lens, just start the minute as typical. Uh, so yeah, I've never really thought I would be a YouTube vlogger, mainly, I suppose I just didn't think I had anything worth sharing. So the only way I can get my head around it, I think, is if I share things I think you guys might be interested in. And something that I'm really interested in is the 2023 Lakeland 100 Ultra Marathon. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share my journey and hopefully <laughs> it ends up on the start line in good shape in the 2023 Lakeland 100 Ultra Marathon. UK trail runners will know what the Lakeland 100 Ultra Marathon is, but if you are overseas, maybe you don't. So basically it is 105 mile, 105, 104, you know, just over 100 mile trail run, which starts in a little village town called Coniston in the Lake District and then you do a big big loop take it in um, I suppose Buttermere, Waswater, head over to Braithwaite, uh, the outskirts of Keswick, Bottom of Blencathra, Dockray, Purley Bridge, Howtown, uh, Kentmere, Ambleside and quite a few other places along the way too and it takes you all the way back to Coniston yeah luckily you do the passes and not the summits so that spares your legs quite a bit don't underestimate that my goodness me for me personally past tw two times I've done it my quads my glutes my groin my back everything was screaming goals for the race like any hundred miler um, you just got to get to the finish line, but if I'm to put numbers on it I have to say I'll keep trying to get a 24 hours which has escaped me twice and uh, Currently I'm getting slower, so that is not great and also I'd like to be competitive in the 50 year old category too now that all depends on who rocks up obviously on the day and currently the V50 guy who won the V50 this year smashed it I think 22 hours or just under 22 hours so that's a massive leap up from currently where I am at training wise hopefully I learned from some of my mistakes from previous years maybe a few less miles with wrecks you know I'm a self coached athlete currently not coached although that's something I'm open to um, but I've been relying on the Garmin Connect marathon training plan to give me some basic structure you know I like the heart rate option for that because especially on the trails you know I find effort is a bit more important than pace so I use the training plan as a structure modify the weekend long runs maybe not do as many quality sessions as the plan so I won't be following it to the T and I'm super fortunate to be co-host of the Run to the Hills podcast sponsored by J-Charge. Um, so every week, yeah, I share the mics with Edwina Sutton, who is a proper coach uh, with years and years 
of experience so I do get a few tips and tricks from her we've got a large and wonderful community also knowledgeable guests too so there's no shortage of, of inspiration knowledge and motivation yeah i plan to pretty much share everything uh, without being too graphic i thought i needed to break wind and it was a bit more than that <laughs> bashed up toenails races nutrition things that are working things that are not working maybe even i uh, track my weight as i'm going yeah i don't think i've got anything to hide talk about weight i'm not interested in losing weight uh, or restricting anything but it might be just interesting to see like say what is working what's not working make sure i'm putting enough of the right things in my mouth to fuel training yeah i'm not too sure if that's uh just caused by all the heat we're having thankfully it's raining now i saw some park rangers over there just putting another fire out so my goodness me i hope it's not arson what a complete stupid thing to do but yeah a fire there not great. Just saw the park warden there, so hopefully that'll get called in. 999. It's too big for him to beat out. There's a couple of fires in the park apparently. So awesome. Good job everyone. Nice to see that you're respecting your local area. So what has happened to the Lakeland 100? Well sensibly not a lot. I run a lot, I exercise a lot. So I need a good time to rest, reset after main race especially a race like 100 mile my goodness mate it takes so much out of you so yeah two weeks no running at all no exercise at all um oh that's not completely true rex did get one or two walks every day which i suppose is quite good gentle movement uh, i think promotes recovery and then for the last week and a half anywhere between four to six miles running with Rex lots of stops starting weighing sniffing poos so no agenda not looking at the watch recording the activity but not looking at the watch and also a bit of mobility foam rolling stretches that kind of stuff so introducing that and for me which is always a really big challenge a bit more thought about the kind of food and the quality of the food and the alcohol that I'm eating. I see alcohol. Christ, that's like as if I've got a problem. I really don't have a problem with alcohol. I've got a, I've got a problem with donuts and chocolate. But um, yeah, just have been a bit more mindful about what's going into the body. And there we have it. Bye, Brigade. Can't be done, my darling. So training starts next week. Hopefully the body responds. I think it is going to be a bit of a shock to the system. Fingers crossed, some knowledge to share. You know, maybe just a bit of motivation. Get you out the door. You see someone else doing it, going out in all the weather. If it helps you get out the door, then that will be awesome. So fingers crossed. So training starts next week. And the following Monday, Sunday night, we'll upload to YouTube. Hey, let me know your running goals for the rest of 2022 and 2023. That'd be awesome to share any tips, any tricks uh, that you are using, any kit that you're using. I always love sharing that kind of stuff. So yeah, comment below your goals for the rest of this year uh, and 2023. Please pop back next week for an update and like, share and subscribe too. If you like this video, you might want to check out some of my other videos. They're all about running. It could be a vlog, could be a kit review, could be the podcast, could even be a route recce. Okay, that's it for me. You take care, everybody, and thanks for watching.